G'day fishos, thanks for joining us. Well, it is an absolute scorcher today. The temperature is right up, and there's one great way to beat the heat, and that's going for a wade. Now, I'm down my coastal creeks, chasing whiting on surface. Should be a good bit of fun. Come join us. I might even show you how I do it as well. Righto, time to get out there. Yes. There you go. Nice little ting. He's only a small fella. But he's a start, right species, off he goes. Got another one. This one's only small. That's why they call them fighting whiting, they might only be small. But... Look at that. Prime little specimen. Still a bit small, but we're getting there. Putting a few together. Off that surface slow down, beautiful. No little tack up. Oh. Got him that time. Always the way, just after the camera runs out of battery, have a go at this slab. Nice tank. Off the surface, he's he'd be mid 30s, this is a nice fish. Beautiful. There you go and guys, we just finished our little morning sesh there. The tide's starting to get low. Not as many fish as we would have hoped for unfortunately, but we still had a good bit of fun. Now I'm going to explain the technique and the gear we use just so you guys can set yourself up and get out there and have a crack. Now first thing you'll notice, the gear is super super light. That's a 1000 size twin power reel, uh, a 1 to 3 kilo rod, 3 pound braid and only 6 pound leader. So ultra light gear, super fun once you hook up, but you need that light gear so you can cast these lures. Now these lures they weigh about 3 to 4 grams which is not much I'll tell you. And uh, if you've got heavy gear you just simply can't cast them. Now, one thing you can use to your advantage is the wind. You'll see we've got a bit of wind around today. It's blowing down with against the current, so we're using that wind to really get as much distance as we can with our lures and cover as much ground as possible. Now, you wouldn't say flats fishing is the most fashionable attire. You'll see I've got a fair bit of kit on, but it is essential because some things you just can't go without. Now, the first things, we'll start at the bottom. I've got the booties here. Now the booties protect your feet against stingrays, stonefish, rocks, oysters, all that sort of stuff. Well, I seriously would not recommend going for a wade without them. It's just too dangerous. Now moving up, I've got long pants because I don't tan very well, but I've got my little bum bag here. Now my bum bag, I carry all my little essentials. I try and go as light as possible, but you've got to have your essentials with you just in case the worst should happen. So I've got a little Tupperware container there. That's got some spare leader. That's got my other lures. As you can see, they're all little prawn imitations. They're a bit clumped together now, but I've got some cup face, little skipping poppers, three or four of your favorites, and that's just about all you'll need. You'll never really lose too much gear. Now, also in there, I've got a little sewing tape, just in case I've got to measure a PB. I've got my car keys, which is always helpful. Make sure you put them in a plastic bag, just in case you get wet. And then a little pair of pliers. Now, unhooking, changing split rings, all that sort of stuff, they come in handy. But that's all you need, that's super lightweight. So you don't need too much more terminal tackle wise from that. But moving up, sunglasses. Now a pair of good polarized sunglasses, they're really gonna change your fishing experience out in the flats. It's very visual. You will actually see fish a lot clearer, a lot easier when you've got your Polaroids on. You 
can see little divots, you can see patches of weeds, you can even see the schools of fish moving around. So polarized sunnies, worth their weight in gold. Now let's go through the technique and how we actually cast and present these lures to these warding. Now it's quite a fast technique. You'll notice it's almost like we're spinning for Taylor, but that's how the whiting like it. There's another important thing, is if you see a whiting behind your lure, see them boiling, don't stop. Rim, they like a pause, whiting, the second you stop that lure, they're just going to keep going. So, I've got my rod tip nice and high, I'm winding that handle flat out, and that's making my lure skip across the water and act like a wounded prawn. It's skipping, it's popping, and that's what the whiting love. They just come up after it, they sit behind it, sip at it, sip at it, and eventually find the hooks. So, high rod tip, and crank away. You'll see how fast my left hand's moving. It's because the small size reels, a bit of horsepower just to get it moving but it's all essential to the technique. It might feel strange at first to be doing it for a, uh, a small creek fish but that's what they like. So it's high rod tip, crank away and that get, keeps the lure on the surface and makes sure that lure is skipping away nicely. Well guys, it's time for me to head back to, uh, back to civilization. It was a lovely morning on the flats. Unfortunately not as many fish but that's fishing. Have a good one guys, hope you get out in there and catch it for yourselves. See ya!